You ready to fight? You ready? Dateline, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, back at the Scotiabank Arena. There's been a lot of UFC history in this building already. You know, a lot of UFC history, but the main event has always been two guys, whether it's John Jones versus somebody or Max Holloway versus somebody. Those guys have made this arena a second home for their careers. A nice straight punch. Have you seen anything like it? About a minute into the fight, these women are balling, they are brawling. Somebody's gonna go down. I mean, somebody has to go to sleep. This is impossible a pace to keep. Great job blocking that shot. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice punch, man, over the top. Well, she has come out guns blazing tonight. You know she's got an aggressive style. That's exactly what we've seen thus far. She's a sharpshooter. Yeah. She is a sharpshooter in the highest order. And every time she steps in the octagon, she's looking to finish the fight as fast as she can. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that. When she is this, free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. And follows up with another one. And doing work with the jab. Man, how good is her jab? And there it is again. So that jab has been in her opponent's face from the opening. It is crazy to watch this, John. It's amazing for us to sit here and watch someone with an understanding of the striking and an understanding of the jab being first as she is showing us tonight. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Oh, bleeding out, nasty cut on the bridge of her nose. Oh, pretty good series of punches by her there. She certainly has found the range early tonight. Oh, baby, the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's her. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, there it is. That's that one, that right hand. Oh. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, she is back to the stool, but dealing with a really big cut on the bridge of her nose. She has eaten jabs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, she's taken far too many shots to the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Do All right, round two. That one certainly found the target. Well, without much resistance, she continues to find a home for that jab. Might be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's got to get on the bike. Back to the base so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. That's one way to take advantage of an edge in reach. Beautiful connection with that punch. Well, her striking has been great tonight. Rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the finish. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This one looked like it was over. Oh, shot going on right here. You can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. 
Back and forth we go. One of the better fights of the year, unless, of course, you like defense. A lot of damage being doled out on both sides. A lot of damage being doled out. Both of these women are doing a great job of standing on a quarter, standing in a phone booth, and just beating each other up. It's going to come down to the heart, though, to determine who wins this fight. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Folks, a huge result for her. She gets the TKO here tonight, and this is a celebration that you can be sure is going to continue deep into the night. What is she expected? She expected to finish this fight. That's exactly what she did. The party's going to be off the hook because she has planned for it all week. What a phenomenal performance by this young lady. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Wanoyama! All right, there she is. Big win by TKO tonight. And really, everything she said to us in our fighter meeting... You ready to fight? Ready. All right, we are underway now. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. She's got a pretty good jab. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch. See, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, as and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back, as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Man, these women are delivering for fight fans around the world. What a start to this fight. How could you possibly be seated when you are watching this level of activity from these two women at the beginning of the fight? Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. You are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Doing a nice job working that inside leg kick. Oh, there you go. Oh, she is wearing it. Bleeding from her cheeks now. She's back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get back to her feet. Oh, there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her locked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have finished the fight. Well, how good is this MMA fight thus far? Back and forth we go. Oh, my goodness. Back and forth we go. Massive shots being landed on both sides. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, nice job by her there to land yet another takedown. I got to think at Gilroy High School Wrestling Practice oh. next week, they're going to be watching this film. I mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall, and say this is how you secure takedowns in a big environment. The state tournament has nothing on what this young lady's going through. 
Well, the damage starting to add up, leading from her cheek now. Oh, huge connection by her there, DC, the seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly, surprisingly, we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. You ready to fight? Ready. Second ready. round underway. On point with that jab today. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of her. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. And to this point, she has done just that. All right, so we told you we would monitor this storyline. The clock was opened up early in the fight, and it is getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. I mean, this is a beautiful choice by this young lady. She does a great job of getting after her opponent, making sure that if she gets you hurt, she can the she's thrown tonight. Just looks awful. She's getting up. Yep. Oh, big left. Oh, the big, big shots landed by her now. Big shot. Wow, she got that respect, and then she capitalized on it. Holy smokes. Well, there is going to be no denying her now. A huge TKO result here tonight, and this crowd is letting her know. John, you know how much I love to talk, and I'm sitting here almost speechless because this young lady looked amazing. She said she was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what she did. Wow. Now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Uanoyama! All right, so there she is, your winner by TKO. She felt like her power would be a big storyline in this one, and she was absolutely right. Power was going to be the difference. So we... Yeah. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, United Center, Chicago, Illinois, seemingly an annual destination for the combat sports leader. And great to have a UFC fight night back here in the Midwest. You know, I love coming to Chicago. I love coming to this arena because the fans are so knowledgeable. This city welcomes the UFC with open arms every single time. And tonight, we come with a banger of a fight call. She off the top, her offensive wrestling was off the charts. She gets another takedown there, now we'll see what she can do. Now she looks to try and control her opponent because she's gotten a ton of takedowns and it's awesome to see, but at some point she needs to get some ground control if she truly wants to wear down her opponent. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yup. Nice transition. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Oh, she's setting up an arm lock now. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Good work. No stop it. And somehow, some way she gets up. What a beautiful job. Pushing the leg over your head, freeing your head, defending the on bar submission. Beautiful. Unbelievable. That's a pretty good jab. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of her there. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. And to this point, she has done just that. Right on the button. Oh, big elbow. That right eye's looking pretty swollen. Huge knee land. Pretty 
really good recovery by her opponent after being stopped. We see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, and she did not miss there, this could be the end, DC. and the doctor salivating backstage because he's got a lot of stitch work coming his way. I love the aggressiveness that she fights with. And she wants to see you bleed. She wants to cut you. That's why she's throwing so many elbows back to back. Lands a nice jab there. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere. Oh, oh that right eye's looking pretty swollen now. Might be shut Stop. before too long. All right, Cutman is going to hustle in there and try to apply some end swell. The swelling around her eye has officially gotten out of control. All right, so the round is over, and this fighter's eye is swollen shut. Well, not quite, but it's getting worse at this point in time, and it's certainly something. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Nice loop and punch. She's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a thing. She did not miss there. She's been looking for it, and she finally got it. And now she's going to see if she can close the night. In the half guard. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. She is so dominant from the top position. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Oh, man, you could see her. Her team steps in. Huge TKO result here tonight, and this crowd is letting her know. John, you know how much I love to talk, and I'm sitting here almost speechless because this young lady looked amazing. She said she was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what she did. Wow. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Wanoyama! All right, there she is. Big win by TKO tonight. And really, everything she said to us in our fighter meeting on Thursday came to fruition here on Fight. Oh, yeah, she made it happen. She willed it into existence. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, so here we go with round one. Going to be very interesting to see how this plays out stylistically because both women can truly do it all. This is a very close fight, very competitive fight. Both of these young women are so well-rounded that you can't find an advantage for either fighter. I'm so excited I can barely stay in my seat. Nice pass. That was a slick transition. All right, full guard here. She's setting up a submission here. Good attempt. Ooh, she's got a tight. Oh, she got out. Oh, my goodness. What a display of submission defense by the show lady. Smart adjustment, yep. Nice shots landing from the top position. Making all these shots count. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. We have crossed the midpoint here. 
in our opening round. Armbar. It's tight. It's tight. What an atmosphere inside this arena. Standing room only, and man, did they get a treat as she gets a huge win, and by submission, no less. What a moment. She locked it in, John. She locked in that submission and got her opponent to tap. It was an amazing performance by this young lady, and you can see her rounding into her final form, the fighter that we've expected her to be for a really long time. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Wanoyama! Well, it'll be standing room only at her after party tonight as she gets it done by way of submission. Thankfully, Daniel Cormier uh, is on the list. I'll be on the outside look. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, so here we go with round one of this highly anticipated affair. Well rounded doesn't even begin to describe it. Both women have every skill in the book. Both of them have every skill in the book. They're so talented. They train so hard. They come from great camp. This is a very even match. Oh, she gets tagged. Nice combination. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. So a lot of strikes have landed here. Her opponents are beautiful. See their fan bases explode if this fight continues this way. What a beginning to this I fight. I mean, right at the very start, John, these two ladies got right after. Oh, oh she's in a world of trouble now. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Back to the feet now. Man, she's hurt her opponent several times in this round. We acknowledge the durability on the other side, but how about just getting aggressive and finishing this fight? You know, she doesn't take many chances inside the octagon. Right now is a time where she should take chances. She should be going forward, putting a lot of activity out there, and trying to end her opponent's night. Nasty cut on her nose. She's bleeding. Oh, right in the mouth. All right, full guard. Oh, looks like a guillotine attempt here for... Fight IQ on full display. This young lady recognized the sub wasn't there, so she My kept the dominant position. Oh, she made that one count. She is so dominant from the top position. Oh, big ground. 13 steps in. Well, there is going to be no denying her now. A huge TKO result here tonight, and this crowd is letting her know. John, you know how much I love to talk, and I'm sitting here almost speechless because this young lady looked amazing. She said she was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what she did. Wow. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Wanoyama! All right, so there she is, your winner by TKO. She felt like her power would be a big storyline in this one, and she was absolutely right. Power was going to be the difference, so what she did was...